Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 126. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. I have been distracting myself. By the way, I think... Yeah, in two songs time, we got another... Eminem song. Today's stream has been awesome. It's been very cool. I have the drink in a minute because I've got um, cough sweet. So. This is such a vibe. It's weird, but it vibes. Right, please be the version of the track that doesn't have the chicanes. That's a chicane coming up, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, top speed. I thought this was supposed to be faster in terms of top speed. I think the Koenigsegg was faster. Shit. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Shit balls. I thought I braked in time. Apparently not. Let's try that again. <laughs> Silence intensifies. I'm very much focusing. I'm trying to eat my cough straight as well. Because I don't want to cough. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just taking out green things. I have a very specific hatred of green bollards.
the green thingy my bobbins. Oh, this is that one that's in Horizon 3 as well. Oh, together, be. Oh, is it Horizon 4? No, I think it's Horizon 3. Hey, no worries, Zeno. See you in a bit, man. Enjoy your food. I need food to survive. <laughs> <coughs> nope. Look off, still there. Why did I go on the brakes then? Okay, we really do have to brake earlier for that. Brakes are terrible on this thing. Fuck me. Alright, one more lap. Let's do this. Yeah, so we should finish this race by trying to get it below 11 minutes. We should be should be able to do that.
Brakes. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. There we go. At least we got this corner this time. Honestly, I really think more songs should be in Dolby Atmos. They just sound so much better. I need to see if <coughs> <coughs> oh, fucking hell. I need to see if I can get my PC to support Dolby Atmos. Like so I can get even more out of these Atmos songs. I think every monitor should start supporting like Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos because those two combined are like out of this world. There's a reason why people that make home theatres have Dolby Atmos setups and shit like that. I need more, mm, more, 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 yeah. All right, not bad. I'll take that. Slim Shady. <laughs> this is such a fucking tune. Wanna jump up in my Lamborghini girl? <laughs> this is such a fucking tune. Oh my God, I've gone wide. Accelerate with an X. Wanna jump up in my Lamborghini Gallardo? I hate the fact that they say Gallardo. It just bugs me. It's a Gallardo. It's an Italian word. You say it as the Italians say it. Gallardo. Uh. Not bad. I never understood why cars didn't have, like, fucking symmetrical lights. Like, isn't the point of, like, car design to make it look symmetrical and, like, cool and whatnot? I don't know. My Lamborghini Gallardo. <laughs> Smack that all on the floor, smack that. Bend it. Bend it. Bitch. No.
Hang on, so if that's taking two minutes and it predicts... This is going to take 14 minutes to this race. What the fuck? Oh... Two to the one to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. I fucking love this song. This is such a tune. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fucked up. Hey. Ah, oh, Zeno, you're missing out on this one, man. Two to the one to the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good tree. Look so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get my ass in a toilet seat. <laughs> <coughs> what a fucking chew. Ow. I can't wait for this flu to be fucking over. Right, it's almost gone. It's been two weeks. I hope by Wednesday, to the next stream, it should have all died out. I don't want this cough anymore. It's pissing me off. I don't want the sniffles. I don't want nothing. I want it to go. It's a fairly simple request. Please, just leave me alone. Shake that ass with me, come on go shake that ass with me, shake that ass with me, go on go shake that ass with me, shake that ass with me, come on go shake that ass with me, shake that ass with me. Honestly, some of the lyrics, like, are fucking crazy in this song. Ass for me, shake that ass for me. Come on, go shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Go, go shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Come on, go shake that ass for me. <laughs> this is such a tune. Such a fucking tune. Eminem is one of those artists that I can listen to, and I'll be like, this slaps. In a ass on the floor, bumping and grinding that pole. Shake that ass for me, shake that ass for me. Burn, burn, burn. 
Alright, come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Zeno, you missed it. Shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. You missed the song. Oh yeah, it was a good one. You missed two Eminem songs, actually. I did say after this one, there'll be two Eminem songs. And then you went to get your food. <laughs> Bruh, what? Bruh, indeed. Very unlucky, apparently. So I'm going to finish recording. I've got to do this race and then the next race and then I'm done. Finish recording. Get thumbnails. Sleep. Sorry. No. Not allowed to do that. Uh, finish thumbnails. Job search while watching YouTube. Sleep. <laughs> Not straight to bed. I want to, but I haven't done any job search today. So, I really didn't realize how inactive businesses really can be when it comes to like job searching. Like, there are some of the jobs that I applied for, like, fucking ages ago, that's just no response. At all. Like, it's kind of impressive how little businesses actually do fucking. I don't know. Oh, you penis. Sorry, Penneth. Fuck you, Penneth. Oh, technically, that's me. I'm Lord Penneth. <laughs> Thank you for the posture check, Zeno. Appreciate it, man. My back will be thanking you. What on earth happened to my hair? What on earth has happened to my hair? Fuck me. There you go. Much better. Ba ba ba. Drop that dirty love. Drop that dirty love. I don't know. But hair just does its own thing, apparently. Drop that dirty love. Begging for the baseline. No, no. My hair is an independent variable. Fucking hell. Oh my god, it's been years since I've heard that phrase being used. Fucking science. I'm trying to remember. So... Dependent is something you control. No. Fuck. I've forgotten me science now. What the fuck is a... Oh, it's been fucking ages since I've heard that. 
I've forgotten. Zeno, would you care to elaborate for me? <laughs> oh. I know one of them is like a control. One of them is one that you change and one of them is one that you're measuring or something. So the control one is the one that's not allowed to change between tests. When you're testing stuff. One of them is one a variable that you can change. I assume the dependent one is like the measurement or something. I don't know. Independent is what you change. Dependent is what you measure. Control is what you keep the same. Cool. So I was sort of there. I knew what the three were. Just didn't know which one was which. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Man still got it in it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> That's so cringe. That's so cringe. That's so cringe. Yeah, so when it comes to maths, I, I mean, I, ha I had a really unfortunate thing during my maths exam where I physically could not take one of the tests. Um, I had such a shit day that I, I couldn't go into the exam hall. Um, basically, I had been told the morning of my exam that... Um, What was it? Our dog was unwell and that uh, we might have to put her down. She did get put down in the end, so it's kind of sad. But I got told the morning of the exam. I was like, I'm doing my exams today. I'm going to do my exams. And then I get a text message while I'm in school saying that the dog's going to be put down and something like that. Hey, Cotto with a resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. So I had a mental breakdown pretty much right before my maths exam. Ah, fucking hell. Thank you very much for that resub, Cotto. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was a very sad time. I was talking about... Yeah, so, basically, just before my exam, which was my third maths exam, actually, very hyped up, and then I had been sent that message, so I pretty much fucking had a mental breakdown. You know, as you do. Emotional. Um, I came out of two exams with a six, which is a high pass, and a lot of places will require a six if if you're like going into something that involves mathematics. Um, so six is good, but that was only from two exams, and I knew I could do better. And I was have been obviously my entire life, pretty much in school, I was aiming to get top marks. I wanted to get the top grade because I was fucking amazing at maths, right? And because of how terrible our examining boards are in the UK when it comes to doing examinations, if you pass, that's it. Right? And I know for a lot of people, ah, oh, it's a pass, that's fine. I wanted to do the test again so I could get a higher score. They refused to let me do it. Yeah, and they refused to let me do it because I pass. So because I had got the pass grade, I didn't need to do a reset. So they refused to let me do it. And that pissed me off so much. And it... I, I'll be honest, I think that is what really stressed me out when it came to, like, doing, like, A-levels and stuff. I, don't, I know it sounds... But... I tried so hard all my life. Like, I was getting eights, I was getting nines and all this stuff from all my exams. Been trying so hard to then absolutely... Like, it wasn't even a, oh, I got an eight. I, I would have been like, oh, I got an eight. I tried. That's good. I'd be fine. But I, it was a six, which really fucked me up. And... I'm still bitter about it today. I, I, I think I will die an old man and still be bitter about my exam result. Because that was something that I tried so hard for so many years in school. And because of how bad the education system is in the UK. 
and how bad, like, exam boards and stuff were, didn't get the result I wanted. And I wasn't allowed to redo it. I wasn't even allowed the option to, like, pay for it. Like, here's 50 quid, let me redo it and prove that I am better than that. Wouldn't let me do it. I was absolutely pissed. I even, like, I knew that if I had to reset it, I'd have to do the other two papers again. Might have to do it in a couple of months. But give me the option to do it again. And they didn't. I'm so pissed off. Yeah. I mean, it sucks. And I mean, exams are... I'm still a strong believer that exams are not the way that you should be measuring students. Because doing an exam just isn't fucking... It's a stressful environment. To put you under stress and have that 45 minutes or that hour and a half over two days to define your result of how good you are at something isn't ideal when that performance there is all that you're represented by. Pretty much whenever anyone looks at your exam results, it's only represented by that, you know, 45 minutes, hour that you did on that test. I don't know how long tests are. I've forgotten. But it's all represented by that segment. No worries, Cotto. Which just isn't realistic. Like, your computing ability is should be represented by, you know, all the work that you've done. Not just an hour of your life there. Like, that's why I think exams are just so wrong. But yeah, I was I, uh, fucking... Absolutely loved maths. Like, I fucking excelled in that. Even in, um, like, I was doing, like, year 9, year 10 maths in, like, year 4 in primary school. So I was doing advanced maths in primary school. And there was one of my mates, actually, from primary. We're not in contact anymore. We haven't spoken to each other in, like, fucking ages. Like, probably five, six, seven years. But we were fairly close friends because we were both extremely talented at maths. And, like, we almost, like, challenged each other. I, I was very much... I wasn't competitive, but I was competitive when it came to maths. And then I just... Yeah, worked towards a goal for 16 years. And then all that work is represented by an hour. You know, it seems backwards. Mm -hmm. And when you compare it to, like, me, especially my situation, I'd worked, like, 12 years. Improving so much in, um, what's it called? In maths. Working so hard, doing all that to get a six out of it because they wouldn't let you do the reset and because you could physically could not go in to that test. Seems a bit like, I don't know. I'm not one to say school is rubbish because it is good, like in terms of socializing, but the actual education part of school, not a fan of. I don't think it's ideal how they do it at the moment. And it won't be ever, to be honest. Because the people that have decisions over the education in the UK are the idiots that think they know how education should be taught. And they don't. And the fact is, even when if I was to get to like the age of 30 or 40 and then become like the head of education of the UK, I probably wouldn't be experienced in knowing how education should be done. Because I'm then too fucking old and education changes. That's why I'm... As much as, like, I respect the older generation, I think the older generation shouldn't control the world. Like, I think once you hit 30, that your time's up. You should go into a normal job by that point. Like, 
if you're making like life changing decisions for future generations, whether that's prime minister, whatnot, you should be closer and more in touch with that younger generation that it's going to affect than, you know, being 60 and being completely out of touch of anything that the generation that's growing up is going to put up with. They were pretty good, Cotto. Um, the only thing I will say, obviously, is that screen tearing issue is a bit, bit of a pain in the butt. But um, if you save, I mean, I don't know what to do to fix that, to be honest. And then maybe double check that your frame rates are matching up from your capture card and your OBS. Because uh, your OBS might be set to like 60 FPS and it might need to be 59.94. Or it could be set to 59.94 and your capture card wants 60. So have a look at changing those two values. Recording a little test and seeing if that fixes it. Um, because most of the time motion like screen tearing only happens because the frame rates don't match up. So... Whatever your frame rate is in OBS, change it to either 60 or 59.94. So change it from 30 then to 29.97. That's the other um, group of frame rates. So 29.97 is also 30. So set your OBS to... Uh, 29.97 It's All of my Recordings right you might think this is 60 FPS this is not 60 FPS This is 59.94 Frames a second And that is typically The standard for a lot of things 60 FPS You'd be very surprised 60 FPS isn't common Even in Like I think it's only really very common in video games and like when it comes to actual gaming but when it comes to capture cards and consoles it's 59.94 I have no clue why I think it's something to do with just how the timing works but yeah my capture card runs at 59.94 the Xbox runs at 59.94 I have no clue why it's not 60. I know. It took me so long to realize that that small difference is what causes screen tearing. Give it a try, see if it fixes it. I know it's unnoticeable, but it's enough that the difference will cause some form of tearing. You look at YouTube videos though, it will always say 60 FPS even if it is 59.94 because that's just how like it's easier for the consumer like oh yeah that's 60 frames a second it basically looks the same it just isn't you know it's very strange so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe and I will see you in the next one peace out